Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I just wanted to share with you guys a really cool trick that I found out pretty recently. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, or if you've just looked through my older videos, you may have seen a video very similar to this, but this method that I'm going to show you today is about a million times better than the old method. And so what I'm going to be showing you today is how to change the speed of your LFO, whether that's on a wobble bass or some other sound, where you have a tempo synced LFO that you want to change rhythmically, using MIDI data, so using your keyboard or the piano roll. So you'll see here I have a project and I have a citrus wobble bass and a massive wobble bass. There's massive and there's citrus. And when I play it, this MIDI data here actually controls the speed of the wobble bass, and I'll let you hear that right now. So this one envelope controller is controlling the speed of both this citrus and this massive at the same time. So I can disable the massive and you'll hear just the citrus. I can disable the citrus so you can hear just the massive. And then here's the layer again. And something else that's really cool is I can turn off this layer and I can actually control it just using the keys manually. So I could do this live performing or something. So I'll show you that. So you know, this is a really cool thing. And the awesome thing about it is you can just save this as a preset too, once you've got it set up. And then you just have to load it in and link the LFO speed to the appropriate thing. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up. So I'll show you using a Citrus preset from one of my dubstep packs. Okay, so here's just a basic wobble. And what you want to do is channels, add one, and find the fruity envelope controller. Okay, so if you're just setting up one synth, you'll want to do this in probably Articulator 1, just uh, so it's not confusing. So make sure you're on Articulator 1 in the envelope controller. The envelope is automatically enabled like this, and what I do is just take both of these points to the top and delete the release point. And then what you want to do is go into the key mapping, which is the third button on this row, and zoom in pretty far so you can see each independent line. And when you play the keys, a white line will come up and show you which key you're playing. So you can start at whichever key you want to start this mapping on. And so my LFO that's happening is in filter one cutoff LFO. So this is the speed that I want to change. And so what you want to do is start with, you can start with either the fastest you want to go or you can start with the slowest you want to go. I like to start with the slowest, so. I'll start here, um, you might go slower, that's up to you. And I'll copy the value of the speed, right click to make a point here, and choose the right click the point again and select hold, and then right click it a third time to paste that value. So when I play this key, now it's going to, it's going to set that value for this uh, speed. And then, you know, you can go up at whatever increment you like and then copy it again and put it on the next key. Uh, you should make sure snap's on, 
just so that uh, you snap right on the key. Uh, so paste value. So just make sure that snaps on. And then paste the value. And then you'll go to the next speed you want to use. Uh, again, copy it, make a point, and paste that point. And I'm not going to do it for every value, but you know you can keep going and do the full range of speeds that your synthesizer is capable of. If you are using a third-party VST, you want to... So this is the parameter that I would be changing here. Uh, but whatever this LFO speed that parameter you need to change is, you would um, make an adjustment to that and then go up to Tools, Last Tweaked, Copy Value, and then from there it's the same as doing it with Citrus. Uh, just, you know, paste that value, then adjust it, paste it again, and so on. So once you have all your values copied and pasted that you want to use, what I would do is just zoom in, place another point uh, just out of the range so it's not going to mess you up, and click it, hold the Alt key, and slide over the whole thing just slightly. And that's because I noticed uh, when I was playing around with this before, if these points are right on the key line, it doesn't always register it as that value. Sometimes it would register it as the value before, but just doing this slight shift uh, makes sure that it registers it as the correct value. So now I've set that all up in this Citrus preset uh, here. So once you have it all set up, I would save that as a preset and call it whatever you want. And then you can link the LFO speed. So right click that, link to controller, and you'll have an option. You want to select the envelope controller that you, you use to create that. So in this case, it's Citrus. And then you want to choose the correct articulator, which in this case, it's articulator one. And then just click accept. So you can see Citrus, here's how you can figure out what articulator you're on, is just click through these and usually by default it should be on one. If you want to make a preset like this, which I'll get into a bit later, uh, you will use multiple articulators. But now the wall base speed of this Citrus should be uh, controlled by this envelope controller. So let's see. So yeah, it worked out perfectly. And if you want to download these presets for Massive Citrus and Citrus Plus Massive, you can do that on the forum. I'll have the link in the description. But let's look at the Citrus Plus Massive one. So I've basically done the same thing in Articulator 1, except I didn't do all the values for Citrus because Citrus and Massive have different speed capabilities. So I only use the ones where they line up easily, where they line up easily and have the same speeds. So Articulator 1 is for Citrus, and Articulator 2 is for Massive. So what I've done is, in Massive, I started off setting it at the ratio of 1 to 1, which has that speed. And then, so I copied that value and I pasted it into Articulator 2, which is, it's actually the value of 0. And then what I did was, for Citrus, I got the same speed. You can see that's the same speed. I copied it and then I went here to Articulator 1 and for the same key value, that's important, it has to be at the same key value, which you can see here. And then I pasted that value for the Citrus. So in this one, 
Uh, articulator 1 is controlling citrus. Articulator 2 is controlling massive. And if you wanted to, you could set up two other articulators to control other synthesizers. And so the envelope is just all at the top for both of those. And then I've just pasted the appropriate speeds at the right key so that they match up when it's played. So I went through that a little bit quickly, but hopefully you understand how it works and how to set it up. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer all of those. But, you know, really it's just going into the key mapping, having your envelope up, uh, and then copying and pasting the different speeds on the different keys that you want to play to control the speed. And then just making sure to, you know, bring it over just slightly so that you don't have any buggy issues with it playing the wrong speed because the point's at the, exactly on the key. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.